it's not even Christmas and we already have two excellent new free plugins. Both are emulations of amazing classic hardware and are made by well-regarded developers. So let's dive in. I believe Clan Helm is an underrated developer. Each of their plugins are excellent. And the most famous is the MJUC, which is a compressor with three types. This developer carefully emulates all the sonic characteristics of analog, giving you really high quality. They are known for making smaller versions of their plugins for free, like the MJUC Junior, the IVGI Saturation Distortion, and the DC1A, although the full price is really low. They have recently released a new plugin, and they state it took three and a half years to complete. It's called the Tense Reverb, which they state it has been physically modeled after a range of high-end studio spring reverberation units introduced by a famous Austrian company from the early 1970s to early 1980s. I believe it's emulating AKG spring reverbs. So the full version deserves its own video, because today we're looking at Tense Junior which is based on one of the models. What's great about this reverb is that it's not like any other spring reverb, at least that I know. Contrary to common springs, it offers long decays, a stereo mode, and sounds really dense. I gotta admit, this is going to be my go-to spring reverb from now on. It has all the basic controls and a character slider going from warm to bright. And it creates fun stuff when you move it. So let's try it on different sounds. Despite being spring, using it with short decays can create a really nice sort of room. But you know me, I like to take advantage of experimental stuff, so I made a really simple chain here in Bidwig. I'm using just a pure sine wave with a little bit of noise, going through tens, and with that shape I'm modulating the character. Not only that, I'm also modulating a high pass filter, as you can see here, and this gives me some sort of riser. In my opinion, this is one of the best spring reverbs I've heard, but of course I want to know your opinion, so leave a comment down below. So the second plugin was recently launched by Terry Audio. Yeah, those people don't know how to take a rest. Just a couple of weeks ago they launched the ProSoloist, and now they have released their own emulation of the Oberheim Sam, a classic fat and crispy synth. Of course, it's currently free. Now we have a lot of emulations out there, and they sound great, but there's no free alternative that I know of. Cherry Audio has demonstrated they make superb synth emulations, and having access to one of the most famous synths from the 70s and 80s makes it an no-brainer. Still I'm planning to do a Sam emulation shootout, so subscribe to the channel and you won't miss that video. Also, while you're at it, give a like to this one. So it has all the basic controls for the Sam, a dual oscillator, one LFO, two envelopes, and a really well modeled filter. Besides all of that, they modernize it a little bit by adding a simple delay and a crazy phaser, so it can give you more experimental kind of sounds. <laughs> A small but great detail is that the unison is not like any other analog unison, because most of them will be mono. Instead, Terry Audio made it to be stereo, so it sounds so much bigger. The filter is really well made, which is one of the most important characteristics of the SAM, and it will give you that vintage sound. What's unique about the same filter is that you can fade between a low pass and a high pass, and if you set it in the middle, it will be a notch. This opens up more possibilities for some mangling. Not only that, it has a switch, so you can set it as a bandpass filter. Of course, you can use it for any purpose, not only your typical synth wave or retro wave. If you're into analog emulations and you don't have a SEM already, go and get this one. And if you already have a SEM, well, try this one and who knows, maybe it will become your new favorite. 
So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.